an online survey of personal mosquito repellent strategies unearthed all sorts of strange stratagems, from cutting a tomato in half and leaving it next to the bed, to rubbing yourself with cigarette butts soaked in alcohol. You could also soak yourself in alcohol with a gin and tonic, cut down on sugar, cut out meat, or bananas. Uh, but what's funny is some say avoid bananas, some say eat bananas to stave off mosquitoes, and others say topically rub them on your skin. I don't even want to know about what else you might do with them. Eat bananas, avoid bananas, you don't know until you put it to the test. The impact of the consumption of bananas on attraction of a malaria mosquito to humans. Researchers in Wisconsin randomized subjects to eat grapes or bananas before testing what they then tasted like to mosquitoes, and the ingestion of bananas was strongly associated with an increase in the number of mosquito contacts for hours after eating a banana, translating to about 11 extra contacts after one hour and seven contacts after two hours. Meanwhile, the ingestion of grapes had no effect. Interestingly, it didn't seem to matter how many bananas you eat at once, as eating three bananas didn't appear to make people any tastier than eating one. Bottom line, after years of repeat experiments, they concluded that ingestion of bananas, but not grapes, resulted in a significantly higher attraction of mosquitoes for hours after ingestion on average, though some people did appear to be immune to the banana effect. What about that gin and tonic? Some have suggested alcohol will keep the bugs away. Others suggest we might suffer more mosquito bites after ingesting liquor. Uh, well, there's only one way to find out. Drink some beer and put your arm in a box with some mosquitoes. The title of the study gives it away. Alcohol ingestion stimulates mosquito attraction. About 40% of the mosquitoes landed on their arms before drinking a bottle of beer, compared to about 50% afterwards. And it didn't appear to have anything to do with changes in sweat production or skin temperature after the booze. It might just be something you start exuding after you drink. And so it's also not just because you got you know, bit a bunch of times because you like blacked out in an alley or something. The researchers concluded that since the percent of mosquitoes landing on volunteers significantly increased after beer ingestion, drinking alcohol stimulates mosquito attraction. But it could just be drinking beer, not necessarily all alcohol, and they only tested one species of mosquito, the one that transmits diseases like dengue, zika, and yellow fever. What about gauging human attractiveness to malaria mosquitoes? Before and after volunteers consumed either beer, using 25 volunteers in a total of 2,500 mosquitoes, or water as a control, with 18 volunteers and only about 1,800 mosquitoes. And Water consumption had no effect, but beer consumption increased the attractiveness of the volunteers. It's like the mosquitoes put on beer goggles. Beer consumption increases human attractiveness. To date, bananas and beer are the only dietary components that have been shown to increase mosquito attraction. Uh, OK, but we want to repel mosquitoes, not attract them. What about testing B vitamins as a home remedy against mosquitoes? B vitamins are often recommended in the popular media as a systemic repellent against mosquitoes, especially on the web. The first studies date back over a half century. They gave people doses of vitamins B1 and B6, yet in a series of subsequent tests, the mosquitoes probed avidly and bit promptly. Uh, they only tested the vitamins on four people, but the vitamins appeared so useless they didn't think it worth repeating the experiments in view of the obvious lack of repelliency of these vitamins. We believe, the researchers wrote, that we have disproved the notions that vitamins taken orally act as mosquito repellents, but they only tested vitamins B1 and B6. What about B2, B3, B5, B9, B12? You don't know until you put it to the test. These are the results of a small number of published studies, like the one I showed, that suggest that vitamin B complex supplements are not effective as repellents, but these studies were limited by the use of very few human subjects, only one species of mosquito, and a limited number of B vitamins. So researchers decided to put it to rest once and for all. B1, B2, B3, B5, B6, B7, also known as biotin, B9, B12. They also just tried a megadose of thiamine, B1, which is rumored to be the most effective B, and nothing. No effective vitamin B supplementation, any of them. 
I mean, it'd be nice to have an effective oral insect repellent. Unfortunately, vitamin B1 has been proved to be ineffective. And this includes so-called mosquito repellent patches that supposedly deliver B1 through the skin. No protection provided whatsoever. Bottom line, vitamin B1, also known as thiamine, is not a systemic mosquito repellent in men. They also tried smearing it on people's skin, with failure after failure, you start feeling bad for the volunteers, seated in a room with their shirts off, then they just release a hundred suckers into the room. Oh, look at some of those bite rates. These are bites per minute, up to 96 bites per minute. Just think how bad it would have been if they had had some bananas and beer.